Well, welcome, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy, someone you probably recognize here, Eric Cogorno of Cogorno Golf, very popular on YouTube as well. And this is part of a four-part video series on must-dos with your driver. Everybody wants to hit the driver further to do it with less effort. And that's what this series has been about. So uh, today we're gonna tackle what we do at the start of the downswing, how we get from that good backswing position and kind of get it in position coming down, right, Eric? Let's do it. Okay. Well, as I say, in this video, we're gonna get into what you do starting down. We've already addressed the things you would wanna do as you take your setup. That's in video number one here at the Scratch Golf Channel. Video number two, which has some really good information on how to store energy in the backswing is at Eric's channel, Kagorno Golf. So we have a link for that. And you wanna find that there. In fact, if, you, if you're finding this interesting, I would go check that video out so you know where to get to to start this downswing. And then we're gonna have a subsequent video uh, back at Eric's channel a little later in the, or the next one in the series about something through impact. But let's have a look now at a couple of things you really, really have to do as you start in the downswing. All right, well, Eric, you're at, uh, you're at the helm there. Why don't you show us, uh, introduce us. We're gonna show you on video here a couple of the pros in action, but it really helps to see them doing it. But tell us what we're looking for. Yeah, I think during the downswing, certainly there's a couple pieces that we can see across the board with golfers to help hit the ball farther, regardless of the speed right. they have, right. without introducing a lot of force or, or effort into the club. Yes, yeah, it's, it's important Eric says that because we have YouTube channels, we get a lot of comments. I, you know, we were talking about this off camera just briefly and people have a variety of questions, but a lot of times people write in and say, look, I'm a senior golfer, I can't do that. You should be trying to do all the same things. You just maybe can't do it as large or as quick or whatever, but the principles of what's needed in the downswing don't change just because you're a senior. So stick with us here. So go ahead, Eric. I like you gave the PG version of our conversation. <laughs> so during the downswing, one thing that um, you, you, would, you would see if you watch good players and we would mm -hmm. see for distance in really simple terms is where is the head relative to the golf ball? Right. And there's a good correlation between where the head is in the golf ball and how much you hit up versus down. Mm -hmm. So we would see a golfer who would hit down the most with the driver, would hit it the shortest. They would have the head move the most forward. Exactly. During the downside. And as I do that, you can see from the down the line camera, there's some things that go on with the club as well right. when I do that. There's a real correlation between where the top of your spine is and where that club swings. Yes, yeah. yeah. And so now on the opposite side of that, if I had my head, let's say you drew a straight line up from the golf ball and my head was kind of right behind mm -hmm. it. Now, if my head stays back behind that line, as I were to make my motion, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have an easier time getting that club head to work up right. right through the ball and hit the ball the farthest. Now, if you watch really good players, right, and we'll see a couple in a minute, a lot of the farthest ball strikers, if you draw a line at the top of their head, actually back out of it yes, a little bit. You'll see that a little bit. Right? And so there's a point we talked about before where you can overdo some yeah, things. Yeah. But I think a really general good thing here, Adam, is the head, if I want to hit the ball the farthest, cannot go forward of the ball. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And so head back, um, and there's some things that we'll talk about along mm -hmm. with that. And we mentioned there within the first part that as my head goes forward, certainly there's going to be a motion right. with the club, and that the good golfers from the top, and as they start back down, the club head travels quite a bit differently yeah. in space. Exactly. Right? Compared to the golfer who uh, hits the ball a little bit shorter. Start down in the correct way yeah. there, Eric. One of the things you've got to remember in 3D, maybe go a foot or two into the back downswing. The further that club is over there, the mm. further it is from the ball. If Eric's got that club over here, it's actually a lot nearer the ball. The best drivers, the longest ones, keep it away from the ball for the longest time before it makes it circle back. You're gonna have a lot more club head speed if you do that. I don't think there's a simpler way that you could put it than mm -hmm. just like that. Get the club head the farthest mm -hmm. distance from the ball yeah. as you begin to Sustain down. it in the downswing, right. Well, let's check out the pros. It'll give you a good picture and we'll give you some thoughts. So looking at a couple of older Tiger Woods videos here, everybody likes to look at him. Let's look at these two key moves in the downswing and see how he does. I'll take him to the top of both swings. All right, first, let's look at what his head does. Let's put a wee line there. Down he comes, he definitely shifts some weight. It's not that he's not moving his weight. Head's about still, but as he hits it, he will begin to back up a little bit. His head will move slightly in that direction, which is a reflection of what his spine is doing. That is very advantageous when driving the ball. 
And if we look on the other view, if I was to draw a straight line from the, the golf ball to the top of his hand, he doesn't go straight at the golf ball, he comes down more. And he keeps that club back behind him for a good while in the start of his downswing. So let's tackle this head back thing that you saw the great players do. There's some do's and don'ts in there and a couple of drills we would recommend. Go ahead there, Eric. Yeah, I think uh, number one here, a really simple way to be able to practice this, if you have somebody right. to help do it, would be if you took your normal setup position and you had an object, mm -hmm. right, kind of over your lead shoulder, right? right? If Adam, you were to hop in so there and not hurt yourself. a friend would just hold this here? Yeah, something like that, where in my mind that's a wall, and I would make motions and feel as though my head stays back behind mm -hmm. the wall. Exactly. Let's assume, not that you don't have any friends, but maybe there's not someone to hold uh, the club. Something you can also do to create a similar visual would be to take an alignment rod mm -hmm. and, or stick even and have it even or over the golf ball. So from my visual, Adam, that to me feels like it's basically over the ball. Right. And it gives me a visual of during my downswing, I'm gonna pretend that wall goes forever. And I obviously don't wanna hit my head on the wall, as I start to work during my downswing, I'm gonna feel like my head stays behind that stick. Now, I'd like to demonstrate one, and I think we, both of us, we need to talk about how to do that, right. uh, some things to do or not, but let's demonstrate one where I feel as though I'm keeping my head behind the stick, trying to maximize my distance with less effort, getting the club to uh, work up by itself. So head stays behind the stick. Nicely done. And that one felt like I kept my, my head back. Now, yep. you want to keep certain things back and maybe yep. not some other things. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, you do not want to keep everything back. The great drivers, when they measure them, do not have most of their weight on the back foot when they hit. Their head stays centered initially. The lower body drives forward. And as the lower body actually drives forward and begins to thrust, it actually helps push the head back. So yeah. we're not saying keep the hips and the you know, and the, uh, the point of weight back, yeah. just your head there. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going, uh, right. Yeah. We're not doing that. Right. You'll hit some nice pulls and pull slices <laughs> right. if you do that and right. we'll be to blame for it if we're not careful. And that's a good point too, that I skipped over is a lot of that tilt that's happening in the head back is really generated from my hips, belt buckle, yeah. almost being forward. As those glutes thrust underneath you, it helps push you back. It's a very powerful way to do it. And so maybe what I would feel in addition to this, if there was sort of an imaginary line uh -huh. here is, hey, I'm trying to get my belt buckle to push up and forward into the wall. Yeah, and I'm trying I like to, that. something I like, like that, that yeah. right? While having this, my exactly. upper body stay back. So correlate those two a little bit. Let me try and put one of those together. So my head staying back, line, but really that's being generated by my belt buckle being mm -hmm. up and forward. Got exactly. it, okay. So let's go ahead and do one with that. Belt buckle up and forward, head stays back. Ooh, and that felt good, Adam. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. And so that would be the first part. Mm -hmm. um, and then we said there's a second correlation with where the club head exactly. is in space. Exactly. So let's talk about that start of that downswing where the club is. As you said at the very beginning of the video, what you do with your spine and your head affects that, certainly. But go on up to the top here. That club, as I showed you earlier there on the, on the uh, V1, should not, your hand should not go straight towards that club. You want to keep that club as far away from the ball as you can, as far away over here. You will have so much more speed if you do that. Now, mental pictures count for a lot. So if you could picture maybe if my foot's a huge nail, you're trying to knock the nail in. In other words, don't make oh, that good. the target go this direction. You might miss hit a couple of balls in the beginning of that. Don't worry about that. Too much commitment to a solid hit right away will rob you of the ability to do something different. And I'm telling you, under this is a Fred Shoemaker thing here. I know I refer to him a lot on my videos, but if that ball is too much of a pulsating target for you, you will have a hard time doing these things. You've got to relax, swing down and swing up, not swing at the ball, and you'll find this a lot easier to do. Got it, love that. Swing down, swing up, right. So I'm feeling my club head yep. from here, I'm a little bit more behind me. Mm -hmm. We're staying back farther yep, away from exactly. it. exactly. I really feel like my hands are about as far from the ball and exactly. my club head yep. are kind of as far from the ball. And then I have a little bit of a mm -hmm. getting the, the nail down. I like that. So I may, I may kind of practice one or two of these, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just to get a general sense. And if I'm normally someone who has the head forward this forward, right. 
I mean, this should feel like it's a country mile Absolutely. behind you, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, you, from, it would be difficult. This is one of those things that would be difficult to overdo. It really would be. Yeah. Especially if you're coming from the opposite Absolutely, side. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm feeling. Don't my, be afraid to make a few mistakes and miss hit a couple of balls. It's not serious. Just get the feel. Yeah. Love that. So let me do one or two, and I'm not going to go a million miles an hour here. But I'm going to get a sense of the club head. He's only going to go at my full speed on this yeah. one, not his full speed. <laughs> about half speed. Yeah, about that. So I'm feeling the hands and my club head farther from the mm -hmm. I really like that feel. Let's go ahead and just kind of bunt one out there to start with. Yeah, that felt really good. That's a beauty. That, that That's in beauty. of all the things we've yeah. talked about in the series so far, Adam, really gives me the sensation of what the point mm -hmm. is of this, which is less effort. Exactly. Right? That felt like I can kind of get the club started in that general direction, mm -hmm. and then it almost feels like it wants to whip around exactly without a lot of effort. Exactly. I'd like to do yeah. one more. I felt good. You're keeping energy stored or even storing more of it. It's, and yeah, then as you say, really it unleashes good. itself. You don't have to try so hard. So my hands and the club. I mean, I feel like I got the club as far yep. back here as I can, Okay, which is going to be a commonality. Let's go ahead and do a little half one again. Yeah, Beautiful. that felt really good Beautiful. too. And I think that's a really good visual, right, of just, and, and people can look for themselves. Take golfers who hit the ball the farthest, and at the top, when they get to about left arm parallel, you know, just even draw a line down the exactly. club. Exactly, exactly. How far this way and down is that? Exactly. Versus, versus out this way, so. Yeah, we're lucky in today's day, I'll turn around here, we're lucky in today's day and age because you really can film yourself so easily you know, I first got my camera in 1986. It was about that big with a VHS tape and you had to drive <laughs> to Kingdom Come to watch it on a VCR. <laughs> Take advantage of this technology. It's not that hard to do. Get these references, it'll help you. Well, thanks for watching. I hope those things were helpful to you there. Eric, great job there. Would love it if you'd hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. And don't forget the fourth video in this series of must-dos with your driver is gonna be on Eric's channel, Kogorno Golf. So look for that.